You see? We're left with a small piece of their majesty. One of the most influential pieces we have is the Pantheon, a temple which is dedicated to all the gods. Its design, which is quite different than other... Doesn't this look like your everyday courthouse in America? Temples all around the world? The world, due to its square column front and large dome interior, has been replicated in almost every state capitol building in America, including the capitol in Wisconsin. <laughs> The Emperor Trajan was centuries ahead of his time when he built what is considered the first multi-story shopping mall. It was equipped... Shopping malls. Go back to Rome. Now... Can you see how the image of the beast is living and speaking through this system? With the ancient equivalent of all the stores we might find in a modern mall. Sports fans as well owe some debt to the Romans for their architectural endeavors. Modern stadiums, which itself is a Latin word, are modeled after amphitheaters, a must in any great Roman town. The most famous of them is undoubtedly the Colosseum. Romans also loved going to the races at the Circus Maximus, a large oval track used for chariot racing. The Romans, like audiences today, enjoyed a good spectacle, often betting on their favorite gladiator or charioteer. There were also inventions like the Hypocaust system. Founding fathers like Thomas Jefferson and John Adams hung on every word of Roman writers like Sullust, Tacitus, and Cicero, considering every care. And this guy, Tacitus, we see... Edomites love, you know, to, to, you know, bring this guy up. But don't you know he wrote about Yahawashai and the, 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 his followers? All right. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahawashai, Bahasham, Rakaha, Kodash. Double honors to the men who rule well. Healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. And you know what? And, and, and who I learn from each and every day is the brothers at Great Millstone. Okay? I can say that. Because <laughs> it's the truth. No reason to lie about it. Just like this video right here now. That beginning clip was uh, from the elder Yahshua. But Shalom to, to the elder. All right? And uh, he was going, he went in on this lesson right here. It was absolutely <laughs> it was it was it was it was perfect. It was it was absolutely amazing, you know, going in and just, you see how you see uh, what was it? Yeah, hear that. How is the image of the beast speaking today? And the image and I I sort of went over that in the last couple of videos that I did. Okay? The image of the beast is not Cesare Borgia. It's not a uh, so-called white jeebus. No. It's a whole system. It's the whole system, the NATO, the EU, the seven heads, the ten horns. All these things are written in the prophecies, man. They're all written. Now, he went in and he talked about this guy. What was this guy's name? Uh, and they did. So I, I looked this up. I see Plebius Cornelius uh, Tactic Tacticus. All right. That's his name. And he did speak about Yahweh Shai. And he also did speak about the prophets, you know, and the men, you know, the, the Hebrews, the, the Hebrew Israelites, shall I say, that what followed him. So, let's go into this just a little bit. Plebius Cornelius Tacticus was one of the most reliable of all Roman. Remember now, if you can't put these parallels together, and actually go back and look up history, read these words, pay attention to the words and the things that, that you see, you know, prophesy about this place, Babylon. Because we have to end times here. You, you got to see, the scriptures talk about, it doesn't talk about, Japheth being the end of the world. Matter of fact, in 2nd Ezra 6 and verse 8 through 9, it says that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Now, Jacob is the what? The progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel. Esau, Edom is the so-called white man, the same white man, so-called white man, right? That is sitting on top of the seat of the seven heads and 10 horns, the little horn, that beast, the system. Do you see it? The whole entire beast system. It's not talking about just some damn image, you know, a physical image of white Jeebus. No, 
That's not what the scriptures are talking about. Let's read just a little bit more of this. All right, figures known uh, to us solely through his mention of them, the means his passing reference to Yahawashai. You see that? In annuals, I don't know the Roman numerals, so lock you for that, uh, dot 44. All right, remains a fly in ornament, so lock you, a fly in the ornament of Hamashiach's myth hypothesis. You know, an hypothesis is an educated guess, right? I believe that's the total definition of hypothesis, okay? All right, despite tactus, tactus, I think that Tacticus Slakia reliably and uh, scholarly agreed that the reference in genuine myth mythos mythicist ideologies have several ways by which they try to dismiss this reference. All of them characteristically weak. All right. So let's go on down here. All right. The reference to Hamashiach Yahawashai comes in Tacticus account of great fire of Rome. Now, remember and pay attention to this. All right. I truly believe, and it came from the, the apostles. First, I truly believe that Donald Trump is Nero. Okay, that dude is Nero, man. And and, and you know, and this time, you know, in the account of Nero, he set basically uh, set fire to parts of Rome, and it burned for six days. And he watched and, he, and blamed it on the Israelites. And he he sat there and watched it burn. Look, I pause it on one uh, fourteen ah uh, one fourteen four four. That's beautiful. Anyway. All right, the reference of Hamashiach Yahawashai in uh, Tacticus account, the great fire of Rome, which raised across the city for more than six days. See that? All right. In July, in the 4th of July, 64 AD, when rumors spread that Nero himself had actually ordered. This is a call. Hello, Yahawashai. This is this is wild right here. Anyway, that Nero had ordered uh, for the fire to be started. The emperor sought out scapegoats. For this disaster, and again, he blamed it on who the Israelites, us. Let's go back to that. You see, consequently, to get rid, you know, I looked this up too. Yeah, let, let's read this. Consequently, consequently, to get rid of uh, of the report Nero fa fashioned, the guilt of uh, inflicted the most exquisite tortures on a class hated. You hear that? Scripture talks about if ye are hated, know that they hated me first, right? See, I count them as my enemies. Perfect hatred. Anyway, for their uh, 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 abominations called Christians by the populace. See that? Christus, from whom the name had its origin, suffered the extreme penalty during the uh, region of Tiberius at the land. What? What? what are the hands. It's lucky. Let me just get rid of that. We'll do that. All right. At the hands of our of, uh, persecutors. Uh, Pontus uh, Pilatus. All right, so let's look that up. This is very, very interesting. We're going to grab some scriptures. So I looked up the name Pontus Pilate. Pontus Pilate. All right, died after 36 CE. Was a Roman perfect governor of Judea. You see that? Under the emperor Tiberi Tiberius, of whom uh, presented the final trial of Hamachiaki Hawashai. What? Who? Uh, yeah, presented. Salakia. Pre presided. Salakia. I, I got it right. Come on, Gabar. Let's get it. <laughs> presided at the final tri trial of Hamashiaki Hawashai and gave the order for his crucifixion. So, who were these people? We should all know by now that the Romans, you know, th th there was Israelites mixed in, you know, Cornelius and all that, right? But the Romans, what? They're Edomites. And the scripture plainly tells you at the end it shall speak. And give image to the beast, as it's written right here in Revelation, the thirteenth chapter. Let's go there. Matter of fact, ooh, beautiful. Uh, Revelation thirteen and verse nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. See, these people, these Edomites, they're not going to get away with the crimes and the things that they have done. The scriptures told you the evils will increase on the earth when they all put crowns upon themselves. Where at? In Rome. And this right here, America, a.k.a. Babylon, is what? Rome 2.0. The parallels are uncanny. Right? The parallels to uh, to Rome, the, the whole uh, uh, monetary system, right? The monetary system, the the, the architecture, and all the, the constitution. Yeah, because that's, that's right. I was watching the elders video and it's and it said that, uh, you know, they had gotten 
most or not all of the Constitution from from Roman writings. All right. So these are the same people coming back. Everybody's back in their lot. You can never forget that. All right. So this is going to read right here how these damn devils are not going to get away with the things that they have done. Verse 10. It's a famous uh, scripture and it's absolutely beautiful. It's comforting to me. He that live in the captivity should go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. And again, it just it just uh, showed you that that dude Tiberius, which the Edomites love to bring up constantly. You know, they uh, uh, they love to bring up certain people throughout history that did nothing but what great rob and what unalive Israelites. And we are yet to stay in their captivity, in our captivity. We're still here. Right. In the end times, the scripture said what? That Esau is going to be ruling the world, fulfilling what? The uh, uh, the uh, the promise that Isaac gave to Esau. The dew of heaven and the fatness of earth. Do you see that? And at the end, it is speaking. Though it, Terry, wait for it, because it will surely come in the book of Habakkuk. All right? So this all is correlating together. We are in the end times. All right? And the scripture never, talk, never said anything about Japheth, because he... You got all these damn people talking about the so-called white man is Jaffet. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's a damn timer. Uh, the scriptures spoke about who is going to be in charge at the end, which is Esau, Edom, at the end times, right? All right? And they're going to be over what? Babylon, the new Babylon, the daughter of Babylon. That's why it says the daughter of Babylon, right? This is simple. All right? And I hope this does make sense. Verse 11, and behold, another beast coming up out of the earth had two horns like a lamb and he spoke as a dragon and it exercises all the power of the first beast before him Rome, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed okay it's these, these parallels and this this bible cannot be mated with any other book all right it's, <laughs> these prophecies are popping off the pages. It's plain to see that this place is Rome 2.0. Nineveh, right? Uh, 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 spiritual Sodom and Egypt. Now, all these parallels, man. But we're digging into Rome just a little bit right here. Okay, verse 13. And he doeth great wonders. He what? He doeth great wonders so that maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of of men and you know what Esau Edom through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh on the left hand side has caused fire to come down upon men see with the ICBMs and but it, it, all that was created for his destruction and two thirds at that verse 14 and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth the deceiver the uh, devil means devil you know all right and deceiveth the, uh, them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had which had the wound so like you, yeah which had the wound by a sword and did live you see that and did what live this place is spiritual rome 2.0 it is definitely it's the parallels are all over the place you saw the, all the architecture and all that. And where'd that originate? What, what in Mount, what Seir? Okay. Mount Petra, Mount Seir. Let's move on. And had power to give life unto the image of the beast. The image of the beast is this entire system. The NATO, the EU. We might want to go back here in Revelation 13. All right. And had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image that the image Salakia, of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right. And the scriptures talk about, you know, uh, uh, the men who would not bow the knee to the image of Baal. And the, uh, some of us have to be martyrs. All right. The men that were beheaded. It's, it's simple. It's, it's right here in the book. First Maccabees one and verse nine. Let's go back. Because we spoke about evils in Alexander what, in Rome. We spoke about evils being increased. All right. When the righteous and authority of the people mourn. Everybody's in mourning. There's wars and rumors of wars. Earthquakes in diverse places. The people, the, uh, 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 the people, which is the Edomites, the Esau, the progenitor of the Edomites. Right. Uh, Amalek, all of them. Right. Are in charge. Again, fulfilling 
the uh, the blessing that Isaac gave unto his son ja uh, 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 Esau, man. I almost said Jacob. Damn, I'm tripping. All right, let's go to verse seven. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died and his servants bear rule over over one in his place, everyone in his place. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years up until this day. Still do it. And evils were multiplied on the earth. Why? See, why were evils multiplied on the earth? Because the wicked beareth rule right now. And it's been it's, it was written that way. It's supposed to be that way. All right. I already, I already went there. Let's go. Yeah. I, yeah. I have Revelation 13 chapter pulled up again because I want to go back. The decline of empire parallels between the U.S. and Rome. Part one. I'm not sure if I'm going to read too much of this, but there's a lot, lot. Uh, there's, there's more than enough parallels to let you know that this place is definitely Rome 2.0. Oh, and again, Japheth is not prophesied to be in power at the end. So all this is tied to what Esau, Edom, the devil, the Bible speaks of. It's tied to that. You know, hey, we read the scripture. Matter of fact, here, let's go ahead and read. Let's read. Uh, second Ezra. And let's, let's go to second Ezra. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yes, sir. Going even back to Genesis. You know, you can read. Go back to Genesis and it talks about, you know, Jacob's hymn held first the hill of Esau. You know, these are all this, this, these are all uh, parables and mysteries that he has given to his men to understand, to teach you. Right. Um. Yep. Let's go back to verse eight. Second Ezra six. In verse eight, and he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. Why? The end times. It's a, it's a spiritual battle that we're in. All right. And it's been that way. It, it, you know, Christianity, a lot of people say it's good and evil, but not really. It's not it's not really good and evil. It's I mean, it is. But it's it's not really good and evil because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai created the wicked for destruction. He created all things for his for his sake. All right. So he did this on purpose. He made Esau be evil, wicked, upside down and backwards. All right. He even made two thirds of his own people to become more like the heathen or worse than the heathen. OK, so that's what that's all about. Verse nine for Esau is the end of the world. Did you hear that? Babylon being controlled by who? So-called white people, the Edomites. It's the end of the world. All these things are happening. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is gathering all the armies in the Valley of Decision, Yahweh Shapat. All right? He's, he's, got a, he's got the ICBMs going. He's uh, turning and putting uh, hooks in the jaws of uh, 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 Magog, man. You see that? Gog is the land and Magog is the people. He's doing all these things and it's happening right in front of everybody's eyes. But if you have ear to hear, let him hear as it said in Revelation 13th chapter, verse nine. Simple and plain. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. The hand of man betwixt the hill and the hand of other questions, Ezra's ask not. So there it is right there. Let's move on back up. Moving on up. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I want to read a scene. As some of you know, I am, I don't know, I can't pronounce that name of ancient history. All right, this is some historian, Doug Cassidy's international man. Let's see. Uh, Rome, and based on what likely happened, what's likely to happen <clears throat> to the U.S., spoiler alert, there are some similarities between U.S. and Rome. Some, it's way more than that. You got to dig into the Bible and, and look at the prophecies. It's, it's, it's more than just some, it, it is Rome 2.0. All right. Before continuing, please seat yourself comfortably. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, because I was watching that video. I still not done with it. I, I got about 15 or 20 minutes left of it. All right. The video from the elder Yashawamba. Man. Oh, man. Wow. He was watching some documentary. And uh, man, it's, <laughs> again, there's more than just some parallels, man. This is definitely, without a doubt, Rome 2.0. It's, it, you know, it's that, it's that beast. It's the whole system. Seven heads and ten horns. Anyway, this person right here says, have a seat. Sit down. You know, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of what? 
Babylon, as it says in Isaiah 47 and verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust. There is no throne. The eagle, all it's all there. Go back and read the book of Obadiah. Uh, 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 Obadiah verse 4. Thou, thou exalt thyself as the eagle and all these empires uh, 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 the, uh, the Germans you know, uh, uh, countries or whatever the Germans all these damn Edomites always had the eagle as their symbol always I'm not going to read no more of this let's see Ooh, well, there are good reasons for looking to Rome rather than, other, rather than any other civilization when trying to see where the U.S. is headed in the U.S. Babylon right A.K.A. Sodom and Egypt is headed for what? Nuclear destruction. As it is written, so shall it be done. That's where it's headed. Everyone knows Rome, Rome de uh, declined, but few people understand why. Uh, we don't understand why it's in the scriptures. That deadly wound. All right. And I think even fewer realize that the U.S. is now well along the same path for pretty much the same reasons, which I'll explore shortly. So, you know, that might be a good read. You go back. It's just. Uh, decline of the empire parallels between the U.S. and Rome part run. You know, I may I may go back and yeah, by Doug Cassidy. Right. I may go back and read that. Let's go to the book of Daniel. Daniel seven and verse eight. I considered the horns and behold, there came up among them another little horn. That's America. See that before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. And behold, it's uh, in in this horn were eyes like the eyes of man and the mouth speaking great things. Woo -woo. See that? Speaking great things. I behold till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit. That's Yahweh, whose garment was white as snow. All right. We use this uh, scripture a lot. We're uh, describing Yahweh Shai. All right. All right. Whose garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool. Who, who, who that? That damn sure ain't the Edomites. All right. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wills is as burning fire. All right. So let's go. Yeah, I had I had that pulled up again. Um, yep. Let's go to verse one. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw the beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, seven heads and ten horns. We should know that by the NATO and the EU. Who sits at the head of that? Babylon. America sits at the head of that. It's simple and plain. Now, they'll have you. They have you in the, the, this a league of nations? No, 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 no. America sits at the head of that, man. And it, it, it tells you uh, in the book of uh, Jeremiah, 51st chapter, I believe. I may be wrong, but uh, all these nations are pissed off at Babylon. Who is at the head of Babylon? Who is at the head of all these uh, uh, the seven heads and ten horns? Esau, Edom. Okay, the end of the world. We just read it in uh, uh, 2 Ezra 6 and verse 9. This is simple. All right, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his head the name of blasphemy. Woo! And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the uh, as the mouth of a lion. You right? And that lion is uh is Yahushai. You know, Salaki. If I'm wrong, I may be wrong, so I'm not gonna speak on that. If you know, if I'm not quite sure, then I won't speak about it. All right. And the dragon gave him power and his seat and great authority. You know, who gave great authority? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai gave this damn devil. Esau Edom great authority upon the earth. All right. That he shall rule. You go back to the, the Renaissance period, which, which means a rebirth in the 1400s. Right? Rebirth of what? Their empire. All right. And we are yet this day here. We're right here in their empire. Look at the place. It's disgusting. It's all messed up. Everybody's mourning, right? And who's at the hands of that? Ultimately, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But Esau Edom's at the head of this. He thinks he's doing these things and he's going to, what, perform his NWO, which is going to entail what? The MOTB. All roads lead to that. It's simple and plain with his great uh, 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 signs and wonders and uh, miracles, the, the Neuralinks, you know, the AI, the technology. You know, the uh, the seven, eight, nine G, well, you know, or whatever. He thinks he's going to trick. And tr what he wants to do is try to get his birthright back. It ain't going to happen, Jack. Nope. Let's go. Verse three. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. All right. And his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast. All the what world wondered after the beast. That beast system. There's Nero right there. 
That's why I had that pulled up, I think. Donald Trump, Nero, DJ Trump, shares bizarre Photoshop image showing himself to be some kind of superhero, man. But that's Nero. Don't even know. You know, this really doesn't pertain to the lesson here. Oh, well, maybe it does. It's he. It's the uh, image showing himself, J.D. Vance, Elon Musk, and others as DC superheroes, man. Woo, woo. You see? That's a whole nother lesson right there. I sort of want to read that. He going to call himself Superman, but we truly believe that that's Nero. Straight up. All right? Yep. Who sits at the head? Esau, Edom. Here's that promise. Here's that blessing. Genesis 27, verse 28. Therefore... The Mosai Yahweh gave thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. And that's Esau Edom. All right. He, the, who, who the hell else is running? The, uh, who is the uh, you know, the leader of, of the entire earth, really? The hammer of the earth is Esau Edom. It's America. It's simple and plain to see it. The most powerful, you know, they think nobody. You know, the, the, um, honestly, America's really never been touched. But it's getting ready to get touched in a big way, in the biggest way, to the point to where nothing is going to inhabit this land ever again. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Shai. That's that blessing. Huh? Proverbs 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. You see that? All across the earth, you got a slew of videos. Uh, Edomites talking about, I can't pay my rent. I can't do this. I can't do that. Jake constantly being, uh, uh, you know, unalived in the streets, in their own houses, sleep, no matter playing video games or whatever the hell they doing. All right. We all know uh, no, nobody perish being innocent, but that's this is happening. It's a part of the curses. Right. You've got uh, 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 the biggest the homeless population on earth is in America, which is uh, toast themselves as the richest country on earth. And, you know, vet uh, veterans, you know, that the, they got all this pride. But pride goes before destruction, which is getting ready to happen here. Right. And in other places, the great tribulation, Jacob's trouble. All right. All these things are coming. All these things are coming. So you women that are at ease, you better pay attention. All right. Which is Chanel bags and, you know, your hair did and all that. You better pay attention to what's going on. You weak ass jakes, you better pay attention too. Okay? So all these things are happening, man. The people are in what? Mourning. In mourning. Ooh. Yeah, I had to pull that up. So I had to pull this up right here. Because it reminded me. It, it just, I just I thought about that. I was like, wait a minute. You know, what they say? Beware of the beast, man. Let's see if we can find that. YouTube. I don't even know if I can play it or not. I'm, I might not want to play it. Oh, screw it. I'll play it. Come on. 1968. Man, hey, watch this movie. Planet of the Apes. You know, whatever. It's not even. I'm tripping. My internet's tripping. Come on. Anyway, this is, you know, the apes, and, and they're making fun of us. That, you know, the apes are supposed to be Israelites, man. All right? So they, they didn't want to play this shit. Let's try it again. Video unavailable. Playback. Why? It's so like, yeah. See, see if it's, this one's unavailable. Wow. That's crazy. Anyway, yeah, I'll just leave it right there. I'll let it go. All right. Hey, let's read this. Psalms 137, verse 7. What does this say? Because I briefly spoke about what? Esau, the end of the world. Right? Esau, Edom is the so called white man, the, the, uh, the, uh, the daughter of Babylon, which is going to be in charge in the end times. It's this, I mean, this is simple. Never said Japheth. You know, never said this, never said that. It damn sure didn't say in the end times, uh, Yahweh, <laughs> that Yahweh would be in charge. No, it didn't say that. <laughs> That's crazy. You, so you got these people that own the banks, uh, 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 which basically they own a bunch of cartels is what it is. All right. Your Rothschilds and Chicken Groovers and uh, Oppenheimers and all these people. All right. Which are what? Small headers in 1948. You got these people that have great substance and wealth, you know, according to this world. And they call themselves. The, you know, the J-E-U-U-U's, right? 
But the scripture didn't say that that would happen. The scripture didn't say that uh, Babylon would be in league with Yahweh. It never said that. This, I mean, this is it's madness for these people, especially you Christians out there. You know, to claim we know the Bible and, and all. You don't know the Bible. You're not. You, you have. You. What are you reading? You don't have the eye self and the understanding, man. You going along to get along. Why? Because this is what you were taught, and you think it's all be, gonna be a, a cupcakes and damn gummy bears. No, it's not like that. All right, these are mysteries, man. Let's read this. Psalms 137, verse 7. And, and again, all this is leading what? Down, down the road to what? The MOTB, man. The M-A-R-K. It's all leading there. And it's on the horizon. Psalms 137, verse 7. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom. Who the hell is that? In the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Remember who? Edom. It tells you uh, in, in the end time, when Yahweh Shai comes back, Tearing, uh, tearing this place to pieces, getting down, right? What did it say in Isaiah 63rd chapter? Chapter. What did it say? Who is this to come from who? Edom. Who's in charge right now? You can't see this to end times? Y'all bugging out if you can't understand that. All right? This is, it, it is. Esau is the end of the world. My goodness. Let's read this. And he causes who? Who causes? He causes all of us small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive an M-A-R-K in the right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might what? Buy or sell. Do you hear that? Oh, oh it's, it's uh, you know, the, the M -A -M -O -T to the B. It's, uh, it's sleeping with white women. Oh, it's an embargo. It, it's, a ch it's the image. It's Cesare Borgere. It's John 316. It's everything else but what it really is. Why you think there's a huge push to get these uh, AI contracts? Huh? The miracles and all that shit, man. The veil's been pulled over your eyes. You better wake the hell up, Jacob. Okay? In the right hand and in the foreheads, and no man might what buy or sell, save he have the mark. <clears throat> or the or the name of the beast or the number of his name. It said what? The name of the beast or the number of his name. Name is is that just one person? Or there's gonna come an antichrist? There's many anti Hamashiach. How about Shimei All right, there's many anti Hamashiachs, man. The scriptures tell you that there's a bunch of them. When you come in the spirit of Cesare Christianity, wacky tacky Christianity, not understanding that everybody can be saved, you are uh, under the you are under that vibration of an anti Hamashiach. It's simple and plain. Let's read this verse 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that have Understanding count the number of the beast. It didn't say one person. Let's read it. For it is the number of a what? Of a man. What? Of a man. And that means men, the devils on this earth, Esau, Edom, the system. Their wicked ass system that was ultimately set up by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? And his number is, is a 600, three score, and six. So. You know, so when it speaks about the image of the beast, it's not just talking about some picture of a dirty ass, uh, 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 stringy haired devil. No, it's a whole entire system. Hopefully this lesson was edifying, giving all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekaha, Kwadash. Yet again, double honors to the men who rule well, healthy shalom, to whom I learn from each and every day. Healthy shalom to the brothers out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. And hopefully you got something out of this lesson. All right. Every chance you get chant this place down. And I mean the system, the people and all of it. All right. Kwam Yasharala and Wa Abai Babal. Boom. Shalom.